guys, it's late April. We are up here, high Uinta Mountains, Utah, having some fun. We're gonna be camping for the weekend. So I'm solo up in the mountain trip. It's just me and the dog, the dog and I, whatever it is, I don't know. But it should be fun. Got the tent with us, the Kelty Grand Mesa 2. Check out the gear review for that, it's linked below. Uh, it's a pretty sweet little tent. You'll get to see it in action. Yeah, we'll be up here hanging out. Should be a lot of fun. And it's beautiful. I wish you could see it. Ready, you wanna see it? Here we go. We just got to our camp, and uh, man, we are right on the river. This is super awesome. So we're gonna set up camp back in these trees. Uh, they're really cool. I just gotta check for some of these widow makers here. So we don't die. Let's go check it out. I'll walk you guys back through this awesome wooded area. It's super cool.
Well, it is about time for dinner, so oh, let's get the old pot out. Got some, look at that. Got some peak refuel, chicken alfredo pasta. Should be pretty good. Get the little cook kit. So now we just need to go find some water. Found it. You come with that guy. Okay. Make sure I don't get eaten by a bear out by the river. That about a cup? That's about a cup. Still need to get a little bit of a coal bed built up. We got some fire, but you need a coal bed to kind of cook, cook correctly. Alrighty, we're getting there. What you think, Kai Guy? You tired? You look tired, man. Good day? <laughs> Come here. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Alrighty, let's check out this peak refuel. Chicken Alfredo pasta, two servings. 44 grams of protein. Man, wowzers. All right, let's see. Yeah, look at that. Full package, 870 calories. Mr. Dan Becker, you were right, good sir. This is a lot of energy in one little bag. It's pretty sweet. I hope you're right. I hope it tastes good. We're going to go try it. This guy, such a handsome dude, huh? I'm Mr. Kai. Look at it. Well, we are ready for dinner. House is ready. Looking good. Oh my gosh, smells amazing. Can I get my little spoon here. It's a pretty sweet little spoon. Got these from Morsel. They're pretty awesome. They work really good. They got a nice kind of a rubber end on it, so they kind of. Uh, sort of mold to the edge of your bowl or whatever you're working with. It's got a little serrated edge on the floor. Pretty nice. Thanks, Morsel. Not sponsored. Just want them free on the dirt. Get on the dirt website. It's pretty sweet. Find them all kinds of campgrounds and cool stuff. They have contests every month. I like it. You know, one a few months back. Pick some Morsel spoons, sporks on my prize. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Look at this. They're like full-size chunks of chicken. Can you see that? Look at that. They're like full chunks of chicken. Unreal. Mmm. And the taste? I mean, that is chicken alfredo. For real. Holy cow. That is way better than I thought it would be. Mmm. Amazing. There's tons of it. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat all this. Mm. There, I'll let you see the picture. Look at that. Look at the Alfredo. Boy. Tell you what, that does not taste like a dehydrated bag now. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. That either says two things. It says that this is an amazing bag meal or that the normal chicken alfredo that I've had in the past is terrible. One of the two. And it's, I don't think it's the second one. Because I've had pretty good alfredo. And this is pretty good. Mm. I like it. Yummy. Very good, isn't it? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I put a tiny bit too much water. Is that a full cup of water? I think I put a full cup of water. I put about a full cup of water, right? I filled my cup up. I think it was a little too much. <laughs> it was just a little bit on the water side. It could, uh, it was a little thicker. 
you know, less water, I guess. I don't know. Mm. Man, that's good. I'm not complaining. It's really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we are up here in the high Uinta Mountains uh, in late April. It's, uh, I want to say it's roughly like 40 degrees or something like that. It's supposed to get down into the 30s tonight, so not too bad. Um, it's been really nice. It's been a nice day today so far. It's been clear skies. I haven't seen anybody, literally, anybody. And I'm up Mirror Lake Highway, okay? So kind of give an idea where I am. Well, a lot of some of you probably know where, where I'm at. But uh, there's usually a lot of people up here. And I hiked out the trail. Um, it's an old ski trail. And then I got off of that ski trail and walked another, I don't know, three quarters of a mile to sort of out into the bush. And then I'm on, right now, basically an island that's surrounded by uh, a river that is kind of forked into two different spots. And it goes out and around this island. And uh, I thought there's a big felled tree. And I just went across the tree. And that's how I got out here. I didn't see anybody. It's pretty good. Got that COVID keeping them home. <laughs> Man, can't get over how good this is. Seriously. Like I didn't even need to add salt or pepper. I've got, I brought salt or pepper and they can oh, probably add some. Because I always add salt to the chicken and dumplings from Mountain House. This didn't need salt. This was right on. They nailed the, the Alfredo taste right. Yeah. I'm looking forward to my one-on-one -on -one trips with my wife and kids later in the year. It gets a little bit warmer for them. Not so much snow. We're going to do, I think we're going to, to Granddaddy Lake with one of my sons. Uh, Teal Lake with another. Um, I think here's Star Lake, which that one's a really quick hike. And then, where else am I going? Oh, Jean Lake. I'm not telling you why I'm going to Gene Lake. It's a secret mission. That's what me and my daughter are going on. Put it this way. We're setting up some trail cams. There, now you know why we're going. That'll be a fun trip. And then my two youngest boys, they're going to kind of go together because they, they're inseparable. And we're just going to head up to Washington Lake, which is right here on Mirror Lake Highway, and just go to the south of it, following some of the cool boardwalk trails and stuff. They're, they're little, four and five. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna be able to finish this. So good, but it's a lot. It's no joke. Two servings. I'm a big guy. Apparently not that big. No, I'm not. It's the spot. Yeah. So yeah, if you're looking to camp, and uh, you just can't take the COVID chilling inside your house all day. Come on up, man. There's some spots out here. I'm going to hang out by the fire for a little bit, and then uh, just kind of chill. Yeah, I'm going to call it a night, check in with you guys at the tent, and uh, anyway, thanks for joining me. Only on Earl Outdoors. Be grief you are. So many great taglines I could just throw right here at the end. You went to mountains. Awesome. Camping with huskies. Be grief you Earl Outdoors. Camp by the river. <laughs> just kidding. How about have fun? This one. Have fun. We made it in the tent. I'm all bagged up. As you can see here, you got Mr. Kai Guy. Say hi, Kai. Kai. It's like whatever. Anyway, we're here. We're bagged up. And, uh, oh, see you guys in the morning. Sleep good. Morning. It's first thing in the morning. 
kind of. It's pretty light outside. I just slept in. It was cold outside. I was pretty warm in my sleeping bag and stuff. And the Chicago guy was warm. But it was, it was cold outside. You could feel it. It was chilly. Anyway, good morning. Man. Look like I got kicked by a horse or something. Good lord. Alright. Time to get up. Oh, good morning. We made it out to the fire and uh, got it going. Doing good. Still pretty chilly this morning. But, like I said, it wasn't like cold in the sleeping bag, but I've got a terrible habit. It's not a terrible habit to me. To me, it's normal. But uh, like I can't sleep with my arms either straight down or like over the top of me, like I'm dead or something. Like I have to like lay like this. <laughs> And, of course, you can't really do that in a mummy bag and stay warm at the same time. So I would, like, put them out, and I'd be like, oh, my God, this is freaking cold. And then I'd pull them back in, and then get warm, and I'd take them back out. Yeah, it was a long night, but that's what I get for sleeping in big, luxurious car camping bags for a long time in between backpacking trips. Forget that mummy bags. Anyway, we are getting a new mummy bag couple of them actually should be pretty sweet we're getting them from Nemo they're the uh, the spoon shaped bags so they offer a little extra room so we're gonna try those out and see how those go <laughs> like my makeshift quick fireplace some of these guys like I watch these guys on YouTube I love them because they're real precise with their their cut wood and they, they just it looks really pretty their fires really contained all the time and I'm on like a little mud flat here so it's like yep just Drop it on there. Oh man, I'm still waking up, sorry.
Well guys, we uh, struck out fishing. Bummer. We tried a lot of different spots. We tried some, some cool still spots in the river uh, that were blocked off, you know, like by a fallen tree and it made it really calm. And tried some other areas. Walked all up and down the, the river. So, nothing this morning. We'll keep trying later today. But, not to fear, not to worry, because, of course, we brought backup food if we didn't catch fish. And Mr. Kai Guy hasn't had breakfast yet, so it's about breakfast time. He packed it up in his little pack here. Look at that. Big old chunk of chicken, some chicken feet. I think there's even a couple chunks of hearts and gizzards in here. Yeah, you smell that, huh, dude? You ready? You ready? You want some? Yeah. Alright, bud. Eat up. Here you go. Oh, and would you believe it, right in the middle of cooking that, my camera battery dies, so I go to grab my spare. And it's not there. So my main camera, it's dead. Awesome. Luckily enough, I got my GoPro and my phone, and I've got a solar charger. For those. So, looks like it's going to be phone and, and GoPro filming from here on out. Sorry. I can't believe I forgot my other camera battery. It's probably sitting right in the charger, right where I left it. Unreal, unreal. Anyway. What's up guys? Taking a little midday nap down by the river. Found this big cool log. So, yeah. Just kind of laying here. It's pretty nice. I can't believe I forgot my camera battery. I have to use my phone for the rest of this trip. It's crazy. All those cool B-roll shots are all gonna be phone B-roll. Blah, gross. Let me give you just a little bit of a, a heads up on where I am. Um, so let's, I'm gonna turn, turn the camera up. Okay, so I, my little camp area, or my fire pit, is kinda right over here, right? There's my log with all my junk on it. The tent is right back in those trees-ish somewhere. So I'll kind of get out of the wind in the river. Right here. And there's a really pretty spot right down inside of these trees here. It's right on the river. It's really cool. I almost wish I had a camp there. And I'm half tempted to pack all my stuff up and literally move it over there. I don't know if I want to though. Like I said, I found this log, and it's kind of comfortable. It's got this little headrest spot right there. So this is Kai. He's our Siberian Husky. He's a pretty dog. Ten months old, so almost a year. He's kicking butt. Got him on a raw diet. It's all he eats all the time is raw chicken, raw fish, hearts, gizzards, liver, stuff like that. He loves it, huh? He throws some grains in there every once in a while. Um, like some oats, and then we'll put in like a little bit of uh, canned spinach to sort of simulate whatever would have been in 
the kill's stomach. So, yeah. Healthy dog. Doing good, huh, bud? Yeah. <laughs> so, Mirror Lake Highway is that way. This is north. That's south. So, you can guess which river I'm on right now. It's pretty easy. And, uh, yeah. We're out here about, I want to say it's it's only like a mile from the highway. It's only about a mile hike. So it's not very hard to get to, but you do want to try to get here either early in the spring like this, um, or maybe closer towards the end of fall when stuff is kind of frozen, because a lot of the ground out here, like, let me see here, some, some of this shore bank ground it will get really muddy in the summertime, uh, and it just turns into like a marsh because the river's flowing through here. And so getting here right now, like some of the snow packs that you see, like this snow right here behind me, I can literally, with my full weight and the weight of my pack, stand on that and I don't go down at all. It's still frozen. So you kind of want to get here now. That's why I'm up here. It's really pretty. This is what I'm talking about, camera, phone camera B-roll, ready? Phone camera b-roll okay my oh, buddy huh ah, hey talking to you hi how you doing what up what's up oh thanks appreciate it really good boy yeah fun stuff good times well if you're liking what you're seeing that beautifulness and want to see more of it hit that subscribe button and then hit the little bell notification button so you get a video Notification every time we pull one out. We're gonna be doing five backpacking trips this year, so you wanna check out those trips and possibly uh, a bear hunt trip up in Washington State and deer and elk for sure here in Utah. Zelk's over the counter, man. We take it. Get the multi season hunt and we get archery and rifle. I'm, I'm, I don't do muzzle loader, sorry. I mean, it'll be fun. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.
<sighs> well guys, it has been a ton of fun. We're getting ready to head out. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked the footage. The Uinas are absolutely beautiful this time of year. So if you're bored or if you're just cooped up because of the COVID, get out to the Uinta Mountains. They're beautiful up here. And uh, I just love it up here. It's like my second home. I spent almost all my childhood camping trips somewhere up here in the Uinta Mountains. So, so much fun. Thanks for joining us and uh, come back again next time. Okay, see ya. Thank you.